Hey guys, it's Mac OS Guru X here, and I'm here to review an application I got from the Mac Heist Nano Bundle 2 called Rapid Weaver. So we're going to open this up now. Basically what it is, is it is a free, not free actually, this is an expensive app if you didn't get it from the Mac Heist Nano Bundle, but it brings a lot of features that were left out of iWeb, which is Apple's uh, website maker. So we can go here and hit new project and we're greeted with this screen. So we can hit setup if we want and we could change a whole bunch of things. So we can upload site logos by just dragging and dropping a logo, a web clip icon, and a fav icon. It's for some of you who don't know what that is, it's a little itty bitty icon next to the URL bar. So we could do a whole bunch of things here and change the title, the slogan. Um, you can change some templates. But for our, we're going to first choose a theme. So it comes with a bunch of themes that you're allowed to choose from. So let's say we wanted to make a just a simple design for a website. So we we're going to choose this, the Dark Dash Original. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and hit add, and we can choose a whole bunch of different type of pages that we'd like to use. So offsite page would be kind of like a redirect. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a blog. So here we're greeted with this screen, and, sorry, so we're going to go ahead and edit the untitled page and call it blog. So here is where you can type in whatever you would like after, okay, so we're going to create a new entry called um, first post, and you can tag it and all that good stuff. So here we can type, here is my blog post, enjoy it, or else. We also go to summary and type in my first blog post. Please read and tell me what you think. And we'll make this bold. We'll go back. We'll center this. We'll underline it and italicize it. So now we can hit preview. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. I put in a logo, which, okay. So there we have the preview of our website, which is a really cool. So it gives you some tags automatically. We have website changing the world, one website at a time. And here we have our navigation bar, so we can hit blog. We can also hit read more, which will open up if it is a long blog post. Then we will be able to view the whole blog post. And here we're given the time that it was posted and the date. So this is all within this little itty bitty um, application that, you know, it's basically an iWork, except much more in depth, which is great, because that's really what, um, that's really what people needed, because honest iWork is not the best place to create a wonderful website that you'd like to use. This is far more, it's one, it's easy, you don't have to know any coding really. And, you know, sure, you can argue that iWeb is Apple, but everything made by Apple is not always is the best, although it is sometimes the case. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, one last thing before we go is you do have a built-in publisher, and you can, let's just save it. And you do have a built-in FTP that you can use, and you can also bring this up to your mobile me account, so that way you can use it with your mobile me account, so you can use it with your, um, your as if you were going to use iWeb to upload it and have use that site name. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.